my name is Dalton Suits. I'm the new livestock agent for Chatham County. Uh, my areas of responsibility are livestock, equine, forages, field crops, and then I'm also the pesticide coordinator for the county. Um, so a little bit about me, I grew up on a farm. Um, I'm right on the Chatham-Randolph line, so I grew up in this area my whole life. Went to high school at Chatham Charter. Uh, working a lot with my grandpa on the, his beef cattle farm and poultry farm. So he uh, raised commercial um, cow-calf operation, and then we also have our own small beef cattle herd. My livestock background started when um, we started getting to the registered fainting goats, or the mitonic goats, and so I started that probably 12 years ago. And so I started out with those, started in small numbers, and we breed and sell those. Um, and then we also do the um, hair sheep, so they don't have wool, they, they shed off their hair. And so we do those um, on a larger commercial scale, and those go for meat. Um, and then we also have the beef cattle. We started out really small with the goats. We started out with just a few and it just kind of grew. And like I said, that was close to 12 years ago that we got first started. Um, and then the, the, the sheep I got kind of started later on and that's more, like I said, more commercial. They're not registered. Um, they're, the end product is meat. Um, so we, we raise those lambs from, we breed the mamas and they lamb out and then we raise those lambs up to a certain weight and then we, then we market those animals. Um, the sheep, I mean, we do our own, all of our animals have, you know, EID tags, electronic tags, so we keep our records like that. Um, we make our own feed, all that, so all that experience is kind of built and, and gave me lots to, to pull off of for, for this job. So I went to Central Carolina Community College, um, I did that for two years. I took classes that, that would transfer to NC State, and so after the two years and I transferred into state, um, a lot of my general ed courses were already taken care of, so I went right into my major, um, animal science. So I was getting to take um, animal science electives and, and the core classes of animal science uh, there at NC State, um, and so that, that's helped me out a lot. Um, and it was a good transition transitional period uh, to go from high school to community college and then to a university. So it also saves you a lot of money. <laughs> So I graduated from NC State with my bachelor's in animal science. I thought I wanted to be a vet. Changed my mind after uh, four years. And so worked um, at the vet school under um, Dr. Anderson. Worked in his uh, mastitis research lab. Worked at a vet clinic. This is back when I thought I was going to do vet school. And so I was working at a small animal vet clinic before that um, and, wor and worked there, uh, assisting in surgeries. And, just helping around the vet clinic. Uh, so I graduated from NC State and uh, right upon graduation I was hired at Wilkes Community College as an uh, adjunct instructor. Um, so I taught beef production, um, farm business management, agriculture economics, um, so several different uh, animal science and farm business management type classes. So, um, I was farming full time and then I was also teaching at Wilkes. Um, and so most of the classes I was teaching were online besides the beef production course, you know, that was a hands-on portion um, that I would go up there once a week and, and teach the hands-on part, go, go into farms and things like that and getting to work hands-on with the students and, and then um, they wanted me to come and teach all the classes seated and um, it was, it was a, a little bit of a drive so um, and that's when I, when I ended up here in this job. So I'm um, excited to, to get started. Um, I've got my needs assessment out. so. Um, if you guys know anybody that that's, has interest or is a producer of livestock um, or agriculture in general, if they could fill that out, you know, that, that helps me get an idea of, of what the county needs and what types of programs that you would like to see. Um, and so just, I mean, based off the census, you know, we, we're a big beef, poultry, and small ruminant county. Um, and so I'm looking at basin programs off of those, those areas. And, and just trying to get input from the producers as, I, as I'm getting started and get my feet on the ground and trying to see what, what they want, so what's going to best serve them. Access it on the website at chatham.ces.ncsu.edu and there's a tab that says livestock and forages and you can click on that and that's, there's also um, newsletters that we post and other links that's related to livestock and, and forages on there and you can also sign up at the bottom of the page um, scroll down and, and click subscribe and you can subscribe to the livestock and forages newsletter um, and so we send out a lot of updates about upcoming events that's happening uh, in and around the county 
So you can always stop by the office anytime. Um, I'm in and out a lot, but I'd be happy to you know sit down and chat with you. And that's another thing is, is um, I'm happy to to meet with the, the producers of the county, and so I'm, I'm eager to get out there and meet you guys. So uh, feel free to give me a call, and, and I'd love to come out and do a farm visit and, and just get to meet you guys. Or you guys are more than welcome to, to stop in here at the Chatham Ag Center and, and stop in the office. Um, but you can reach me. My direct phone number is 919-542-8242. Uh, my email is Dalton underscore suits, so that's S-U-I-T-S at N-C-S-U dot E-D-U.